Hello and thank you for tuning in. Welcome to another review video. And today we're reviewing the Universal Crossbar Set by Boogie RV. And this is a company that I've done a couple other reviews for. I did a hitch basket bag as well as a roof carrier bag. Um, they d full disclosure, they did send me these bars, but they basically say here they are and do a full review and be honest. They don't make me say anything specific. So you're gonna get my honest review on these. They have a bunch of different styles on their website. So if you're not watching this as a Subaru owner or as a Crosstrek owner, check out Boogie RV on Amazon and you'll be able to find different bars to fit. These specific ones are for crossbars that have a slit along the side and or crossbars that are up off of the car. Essentially, these will come in either black or silver and they have two different lengths either 47 inches or 53 inches. This is the 47 inch size for the Crosstrek. So let's get into the unboxing and then I'll show you how to install them and we'll see how it goes. Uh, if I didn't mention it, these are rated at 150 pounds, which is similar to the Subaru brand uh, crossbars. Everything you need to install the crossbars comes in the box. You have your two uh, crossbars there, keys, a hex wrench, some paperwork, a paper ruler that'll come in handy, and some rubber pieces to fill in some gaps between the T-rail and the crossbars once they're installed. Installing the crossbars is very straightforward. Essentially, you put them up on top of your rails, adjust the width by sliding the T, track itself, take off the lock, and then once you're fully adjusted, you want to have the T-system snug against the back and the hook underneath your rail, or if you have a slit along the slide, inside the slit itself. Snug those down and then reapply the lock. Same thing for the back one. And you want to have these a minimum of 27 inches apart And then here, if you need to adjust the, the rail side to side, you basically just pull on it and it stays snug and you're good to go. And here you can see some little gaps that are left between the rail there. And that's what the rubber pieces are for. So just do a quick measurement. You can cut those and slide them in. And here you can see the hook is underneath and it's flush against the back on both of them. So really that's it for the crossbars. It's a very straightforward install. Literally would take 15 minutes if I wasn't filming um, at that, if even that much, it's super quick, super easy. And I really like the way they look actually. And I think having the, having them flat across the top is gonna be kind of nice and a little bit better for the bikes when they're being transported on the roof. So I'm gonna drive around a little bit and I'll give you a report if there's any increased wind noise they stick up a little bit higher than the standard Subaru version, but overall I think they look great and I think it's gonna work out fine. So I'm gonna go for a drive and I'll let you know if there's any wind noise or any other issues. For the last week, my son and I have been driving the Crosstrek around with the Boogie RV crossbars in place. And there are just a couple things I wanted to mention before I give my final review, just things to consider uh, with these bars specifically. Number one, if by chance, if you loosen up the bolt that holds the hook to the rail system itself too far and it comes out, it's a little bit difficult to get that reinstalled onto the system when it's all together. Basically, there's a cylindrical nut back there that's round, that basically moves around. And to get that lined up with the hole without any pressure on the back and trying to get the bolt in there is very difficult. Um, I did devise a way to do that initially before I knew that you could actually pop the end of the rail off, take off one screw, that whole system comes off and it, it's a really quick 
um, reattachment. So just be aware of that. It is very difficult to get that in, that bolt in with the system connected. Take the time to just pull it off real quick and get that bolt back through. One of my hooks was actually not through the nut when it arrived at my house, so I had to take some time to figure that out. I did contact the gentleman I'm working with at Boogie RV. Very helpful, sent me a video on how to do it, so all good to go there. The second thing I wanted to mention is when we initially installed the rails, I only put the rubber grommets on the outside. I didn't fill the spaces um, that are on the inside on the roof section of the rails. So we did have a little bit of a whistling noise over 40 miles per hour. Once I installed the rubber grommets and we actually moved the crossbars back on the whole roof system just a little bit. And basically we have no noise at this point. Uh, with the radio on, you hear nothing. Uh, occasionally my son says he will hear a slight whistle noise, but he said it's basically 99% gone and it, he doesn't hear it anymore now that we made those changes. So those are the two things I wanted to mention regarding possible concerns that you may have with these crossbars themselves. With that being said, uh, for the money, $129.99, it and you can get 10% off right now until August 21st. Check the description for a coupon code. It's a great deal. They're very solidly made, and as I said, super easy to install. You saw in the video, it's just a couple of steps. Anybody can do it. It's not difficult whatsoever. So um, easy on off, well made, and I've got my bike racks on there, and they're nice and solid, no problems whatsoever. So I'm very pleased with this setup, and again, uh, highly recommend them if you're in the neighborhood for some crossbars. Check out boogierv.com um, actually by following the link to Amazon and use the coupon code and save yourself a little bit of money. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please hit like and subscribe if you are interested in seeing some more reviews or interested in cross treks or the other content I have on my channel. And thank you so much for watching. Please uh, like, comment, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.